What's going on guys? Today I want to bring you a quick video going over another product from Aridus Industries and that's going to be their universal side caddy for the Beretta 1301 and a couple different shotguns. Kind of going along here with some more parts for my 1301 and kind of this little build series that I've been doing. Last time we installed the Zukov conversion 4N from Aridus Industries. If you guys missed that video, I'll leave a link down below and probably a card popping up in the top corner, depending on what you're watching this on. So if you guys missed that, go check it out. I really like this 4N. The QDC. Now, full disclosure, Aridus does not know who I am, nor will they probably ever. Uh, the only relationship I have with them is I live in the same state as them, so this stuff showed up to my house very, very fast. They seem pretty on point with their shipping and all that good stuff. I can't speak if you live on the other side of the country, but for me, it showed up in about a day or two. So very, very fast on their shipping. Full disclosure, no parts, no money, no nothing exchange hands. This was purchased with my own money. So full disclosure over, we're gonna jump into it and kind of show you the features and how to install this bad boy and get you rocking and rolling. All right, so when you get the QDC from Aridus at the time of recording this, they might change things. But for now, when I got this, you got the actual plate and then you got one caddy to go along with it as well as the proper things to install this on the side of your shotgun. I believe it retails for around 150-ish uh, dollars. If I'm wrong, I'll leave something on the screen here to correct myself. Um, you do have to purchase more of these separately, so if you want more than just one, they are about 48 or 50 dollars per unit. So all in for two caddies, or one extra caddy and then the kit, it was around 200-ish dollars. So pricey, but Aridus, really high quality stuff. Uh, you guys saw in the Zukov 4N video, they do not mess around. They do this stuff to look as OEM as possible. It is made out of aluminum, as well as the back of your caddy is going to be an aluminum plate with the Aridus Industries logo on it. And then the front actual shell holders are gonna be plastic with springs inside of them. More on that later. To install this guy, super simple. They leave you some instructions and an alcohol prep pad and the back of this is already uh, adhered with one side of the 3M double-sided tape. So all you have to do is wipe down and clean the side of your shotgun, mock it up to where you want it, peel the 3M tape, stick it on there. And then what I did, I took it a step further and put some snap caps in one of the caddies installed it onto the side here and then flipped it over and let the shotgun sit under its own weight for about 24 hours or overnight just to get the best adhesion I could out of that 3M double-sided tape. Now all of the uh, haters and trolls in the comments can tell me that the 3M tape isn't going to work and it's not going to hold up. Well, if you use it properly, you're probably not gonna have an issue with it. I use this stuff all the time for work and have never had an issue with it. So tell me why I'm wrong in the comments. I wanna hear it, leave a comment down below. So like I said, aluminum on aluminum surface. So you are going to have to break this in a little bit. As you can see here, I'm starting to get a little bit of shininess on the corner here. The caddies themselves are fairly tight when you get them brand new. So mess around with it for a couple days insert it, take it out. Maybe if you get an extra one, switch it in here. This one is still fairly new, so it is a little bit tighter to get in and out of the actual bracket itself, while this one has been used for about a week or so now, and it is quite broken in and I have no issues. You will notice sometimes that it will get caught on the latch. Uh, if you push this latch too far forward, uh, it will catch this back lip here. As you can see, this one's kind of wearing in where this latch is interfacing with it as well as the latch itself. You can definitely see some signs of wear, but once you get it broken in, like I said, guys, you aren't gonna have an issue with it. Another thing, going back to when you install this on the side of your shotgun, wrong-handed people such as myself, be aware that the bracket does have this little ridge on the bottom of it. Don't mount this too low on the shotgun or else this ridge will interfere with your trigger finger. As you can see here, when I grip this shotgun, it does ride right on this joint on my finger, but that isn't really an issue. I don't really notice it. So I could have maybe went a little higher, but in the same breath, 
make sure you kind of mock it up where you want it because with shells in this, you don't want it to impede your optic or anything. I have about a finger's worth of clearance here and I can get over kind of this ridge on the bottom touching my finger when I'm holding the shotgun. So just be aware of that right-handed guys, doesn't even apply to you, so keep on moving. All right, so another cool thing with the actual caddies themselves is they do fit when they are loaded in most AR style magazines. So that means you don't have to go out and buy all these shotgun specific pouches and put them on your kit or build out a separate kit or whatever you wanna do when you go to the range. So this is my Ferro Concepts front flap that has been on my AVS for a long time now. As you can see here, it fits in here pretty well. It's not as secure as maybe an AR mag, but it's close enough in shape that it works. Uh, it'll fit most AR style mag pouches. I haven't tried every single one, but all the ones that I own, I haven't had issues with. Uh, so that is a really nice thing to just be able to pull AR mags out, buy some of these caddies, throw them in your kit and head out to the range and be ready to rock. Uh, these, in my opinion, are a little bit nicer than the elastic and Velcro ones that you see all over Amazon and all over these uh, other gear pages and stuff where they're just Velcro on the back with nylon loops. I've used those in the past and they do wear out fairly quickly if you leave them loaded with shells, which depending on who you talk to could be the right or wrong way to do it. But you also have that Velcro surface on the back wearing off and the Velcro on the side of your shotgun. Velcro doesn't work underwater. Uh, this should work underwater. I have no, no doubt in my mind that it will, but I'm going on a little rant there. So getting back to the caddies themselves, they are somewhat stiff when you get them in terms of actually inserting and removing shells. These snap caps do take quite a bit of force to get in and out of here. Uh, what holds them in is some springs on the inside of the caddy themselves. As you can see inside there, you kind of just have these little metal springs that push up on the side of the shell to retain them. Snap caps fit very, very tight. Even when you first get them, actual shotgun shells will fit somewhat tight as well. As you can see here, this one on the end does take adequate force to kind of move around inside there. So be aware that um, the snap caps also don't have any give to them since they are an all aluminum construction while actual shotgun shells are plastic, so they do have some sort of give to them when they're actually in there. That spring can kind of compress the shell a little bit. Um, I left these snap caps in here for a while now just to kind of help speed up the break-in process. Um, other than that, there isn't really much to this system, guys, uh, other than it being somewhat expensive, but then again, you are paying for quality parts. So. With all that being said, thank you guys so much. You made it to the end of the video. If you could consider liking and subscribing, really helps the channel out. Leave a comment down below. What do you think on the 1301 as it sits so far? I'm thoroughly enjoying this shotgun. Should have some videos uh, going up against a Benelli here soon-ish. Uh, one of my buddies has a Benelli and we're gonna do a little comparison or maybe a collab video with the two scatter guns. So, Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.